Hey guys and welcome to Tabi Eats, this is Shinichi and today I'm going to be introducing you to a couple of new flavors the Haagen-Dazs ice cream Japan just came out with and it's pretty incredible they decided to take inspiration from um, Japanese sweets or wagashi and um, I just can't wait to show it to you guys uh, one is Kinako which is basically a ground up soybean uh, powder that's usually used for a uh, Japanese wagashi or confectionery. The other one that Hagen Dazs did was uh, inspired by mitarashi dango, which looks like this. And basically, they are sticky rice balls on a stick um, dipped in this soy based sweet savory sauce. Um, I love it. Most people I know love it. Few of my Western friends don't like it. And yes, they decided to add mochi into the mix. So let's see what they taste like. And take a look, guys. This is a kinako kuromitsu. Kuromitsu is kind of like uh, molasses, uh, uh, black sugar. It was a very traditional uh, uh, sweetener that we use for Japanese um, sweets. And so they pretty much combine kinako with a kuromitsu. I have a bag of kinako here. You see, I always have a bag here because I like to make kinako latte with it. Um, it's so easy to use and um, it looks like this it's a really simple powder um, very light smells really smells really good I, I love it. I love this so much um, anyway yeah let's check it out I'm gonna open it up there we go wow look at that look at that so here I have my kinako powder you can see you see, the same thing inside my ice cream. It's fantastic. I've never seen kinako in my ice cream before. And look at this. I think this is mochi. Yeah, look. You see? Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> so, it looks like there is a thin layer of mochi on the top and there's ice cream on the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take a a spoonful of it. I'm gonna to try to get the mochi and the ice cream together with some of the kinako. There you go. Oops, getting the kinako all over myself. I got the mochi texture in my mouth, I got the kinako, then I had like ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I think it's vanilla ice cream. And so I've never had kinako mochi with ice cream before, but you know what? It works. It really works. That's the uh, kuromitsu or the Japanese brown sugar syrup. See it? I'm gonna try this. Mm. Oh yeah. Amazing. Ah, this is so good. No wonder, no wonder everybody's buying this. Because you get the best of both worlds, wagashi and ice cream. Wow. The ice cream is mitarashi kurumi, um, which, which means uh, mitarashi dango here combined with uh, walnuts. Yeah, so looking forward to that one as well. Okay, so let's open this one up. Oh, look at that. So you see, you have same sauce on the, on the ice cream, a mochi. It's pretty amazing. It almost doesn't look like um, Hagen does. All right. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I see the mochi here. Oh my god. I have no idea how this is going to Oh, I see walnuts here. There's walnuts in there. Look at that. Wow, this is um, a new taste sensation for me. Um, it's really like mitarashi dango. Um, but with ice cream and... Um, I've never had this combination before. The mitarashi sauce is soy based, so um, I think it's the first time I actually had like a, I don't know, like a soy sauce on my ice cream. I know that sounds unappetizing, but it actually works. It actually works. And I think though adding the walnuts is a smart idea because it gives that extra crunch because the mochi is so squishy and soft. The walnuts gives it a nice texture. Love this one. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Let me, let me just have a bite of the mitarashi dango. 
Hmm. Now, which one do I like better? Hmm. I have to say that I I like the Kinako Kinako one better. Um, I think the Kinako one works better with ice cream. The Kinako one wins. That's for sure. It was really interesting trying out the new Hagedas flavors. Which one do you think you would like to try? So anyway guys, give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. As always, subscribe to our channel for more videos and until next time, take care guys. Bye bye.